Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. In the last episode, we managed to get the rest of the reports for the missing or done. Namely, we reached the Paladin Marcos. And now, it is time to repack back, report back, wow, my tongue is really messing up today, to Garand, and tell him, well, good sir, we have found all the ore that we can, and now please send us back to Lord Hagen. Things I could tell so, you. I talked to Faith. What has he got to tell me? That's His totally people have obvious. mined two chests of ore. Hmm. Two chests? You. I don't need two chests. I need two hundred! He wants me to tell you that he needs more men. What? I'm supposed to send even more men to certain death? As he can forget it! Well, about Silvestro's mining site. There's Did you go more, see him? Did you talk to him? Everyone's dead there. They were surprised they by mine crawlers. What? what about the ore? Do you know how much they've mined? They managed to secure a few That's chests totally first. Obvious. They're in a cave, along the path from the castle to the mining site. Oh. And Diego was there too! Those were a lot of good men. But oh, don't tell anyone. Inos have mercy on their souls. Inos. I've met Marcos. And? What does he have to report? How much ore does he have for us? Four, Four chests. He's left the mining That's site no to take the ore to safety. Now he's guarding the chests in a Nobody small valley behind me. the lines of orcs. He's asking for reinforcements, however. What? Only four chests, and he left his mining site? Damn! That isn't good. Oh, well, you've now noticed that very quickly. Things like that. Well, fine. I'll send him two people. Not wow, there. really? Two What's people? What's going on out there? Has really Belia good? himself come to wipe us out? I don't know. I didn't see him. My men are almost all dead. And with the bit of ore we have, we can't even what? stop one orc, really let alone an army. This expedition is doomed to failure. Oh, well. well. So? What about the letter for Lord Hagen? We have that. ten crates of ore on the hull, and we've lost twice as many good men. That. You shall have your letter. Things I could Lord Hagen you. must hear of this. This valley is cursed. Nothing Evil abides here. Hmm. Really? We're gonna go to oh, cursed. Yeah. What are you Tell planning me. to do now? I've tried everything. You're my only hope now. You and that Lord Hagen will send me reinforcements. Very well. We'll continue to stand firm and pray to Inos that. that he won't leave us despondent in this dark hour. Really nah, we that. should be fine. So, that means that he's of course not happy about the outcome. Who would be? But before we leave the Valley of Mines, there is one particular thing that I would like to do before we go. You remember the site where Diego was? I hope you do, because we're going back there. Because there's one thing I've completely forgotten in the mess of all this. There are mine crawlers, and you know what mine crawlers are? Easy XP. So we're just gonna casually walk over here. And uh, don't let ourselves be caught by any orcs here. Hopefully. Just gonna go a little bit of sidestepping here. And try to get away from them. And then we shall be taking a right turn here once more. And walk over to this side. Because why not? So we don't want to get too close to the orc down there anymore, because he would follow us. And we don't want that to happen. Not at all. Honestly though, do we have a speed potion? Five minutes, hmm. Not sure if I want to drink that one. So you know what, we're gonna eat a snapper weed. And we can sprint for 15 seconds. At least that's something. So get a bit more quickly to the location that I actually want to go to. Not as fast as you might want to have, but at least some speed here. And that's already it. Wow. You got a good metabolism, that's for sure. So. Minecraws it is. But it's not only normal Minecraws as far as I can recall, but there should be at least one or two Minecrawler Temple Warriors, or Warriors for that matter. So, we should get some nice experience of them. And we only need about 7,000 to level up, so... 
if we are lucky enough and we get enough kills and report back to Lord Hagen, you might be able to level up once more and that would certainly be a positive thing along the lines of all this stuff that happened. First off, however, before we go down to the mine, we're going to attack these lizards here. Let's see. Oh, really? Got both of them again. Oh, you are stuck on the rocks now. So you are going to die. You are going to die now too, unfortunately for you. Boom. Now there's only one lizard left, I believe, over here. Hopefully alone. Yes. Alright. Wonderful. Now this should be all the creatures that we can kill up to this point. And we should, I believe, go here to reach the original mining site that uh, Diego was telling us about. I'm just going to draw my crossbow to make sure that we are on the right track because I'm not completely certain that I can avoid every possible creature along the way. And that's the last one. Wonderful. We even found a scroll. Not sure what's in that one. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Well, unfortunately, I picked there. it up before looking at it. Wasn't it five wolves? One, two, three, four. No. I guess not. That is the mining site we do want to get to. So we're just going to take a quick look inside. And judge for ourselves if leaving this mining site was actually a good idea. Well, judging from that body in front of it, I suppose it is. Or was. And we already see some mine crawls back there. But for the moment, we're going to try and collect all the things out here first. And there should be something behind those rocks here. Leather satchel, bone, uh, no, nothing, okay. Very well, let's enter the mine. Let's have a look to the right so we don't get surprised. Oh look, we can two-shot them, lovely. A convict, I believe there was another one here. Let's go deeper. And find out if there's anything over here. Wonderful. A potion and a chest. What would we find in here? A little bit of gold and a chin. Very well. Nothing too fancy, admittedly, but uh, you never know what you might find in these chests. Also, you never know what you might find mushroom-wise in these caves. Very nice. Three more. Let's have a look if we can eat up a little bit on our health and restore some of that. And especially, maybe, it might be possible to reach another level of plus five mana. Who knows? Let's see. Come on. Give us increased magic power. Only have four remaining. Three, two, one. Oh. Too bad. It did not work yet. But we'll have more mushrooms, most likely at some point. Oh, we're pretty close on the zoom level here. Hopefully we'll fight our way around here. Oh look! I didn't even notice those mine crawlers. <laughs> They're so dark. Ah, uh, I remember these things were so hard in Gothic 1. When you first came to the mine and you tried to kill them and they killed you Nothing instead. Ah, uh, it was so painful. Until I figured out how to do with these things and just 
use better weapons and get my strength up and just basically kill them in seconds. Ah, oh, the times of Gothic 1. The times of Gothic 1. Honestly, the harder game of the two, in my honest opinion. Because I feel like Gothic 1, oh hello, Sylvester's note, was a little bit less of an explanatory game. They didn't actually tell you what to do with all the points you had. Gothic 2 is a little bit more relaxed in that view, because you meet trainers very, very early on, and that makes things a little bit easier. Oh yeah, that's the uh, big one. Alright, focus on that one first. Then, let's get the warrior a little bit more. Let's see. We can definitely pick up some things here, so I'm going to do just that. Maybe not as much, but it's pretty dark in here, so we're just going to go around and pick up things that lie around here someplace. Anything else? Oh, what was that? Minecrawler mandibles. Alright. Is that all? I believe it might be. Oh, there's a torch. Oh, that's it. Alright then. So let's read up on Sylvester's note, shall we? William Quahodron Lucia Sylvester. Do 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 do. Two nights with Diego. Yep, you did exactly that. Now, if we go back to Diego, and hopefully he's still there, by the way, because I believe at some point he will return to the pass and get over it, we might be able to take him to the pass himself. Or ourselves, in this case. So, we might be able to have a little bit of tag team action going on. Which is never a bad thing if you're doing it with Diego, because he's one badass dude. Also, I believe I should not be going down there, because that would probably be my imminent death. So, we're not going to do that, because that would be suicide. If Diego is not there, however, we are going to portal directly back to the pass, and cross over to Corinis back once more. Since we have the rune, that is probably a pretty good idea, since there's not much going on here anymore, and we should be able to return to the pass without any more trouble, because there's no more monsters that we want to slay at this point, and thus we don't have to really fear to lose any experience by not doing all the things. So, Diego, are you still here? You are still here, good friend. So, how about I take you back hey, to the you. Pass, hmm? What do you say? Let's go together. To the pass? Why not? You go first. You've only just come from there. But don't even think about going too close to the castle or to the orc wall. Also, we need to avoid all <coughs> fortified camps of the Paladins. I'm not sure I there are any camps out here, one, but... And I don't intend to go back toiling in one of the mines. And it goes without saying that we're not going near any dragons. Let me know when you're ready. How about uh, you teach you me teach something me? Sure. first? And give me more strength. Good. So I believe we should have enough strength to carry our new sword now. Which is indeed the case. So prepare yourself for the fine longsword. Hey. And also, come with me. Come with me. Alright. Let's go, Diego. Now, in this case, he's a little bit more resilient than Bilgot. But we should be able to get him out of here pretty easily without attracting any attention of any orcs or paladins or whatnot. I just hope that we can go all the way that I took with Bilgot. I think sometimes he's not liking the path I take. 
he might be like, well, then we go too close to the orcs. But I think this is the only way that is safe and that we can take without alerting any orcs or guards. So, while well, we're at it. We shall be having a lookout for any more things that we can pick up at this point. Shouldn't be too much left because we really cleared up the area pretty well. But you never know. And also I believe we should save in case of anything bad that happens. You never know that either. So yeah, as I was saying before about the Gothic 1 and Gothic 2, I personally think that Gothic 2 is a more easy game compared to Gothic 1 because it's just it it handles differently in the beginning. I feel that in Gothic 1 when you held your sword with two Wait. hands What? Really? Come on. We're gonna go exactly this way. Come on, Jaeger. Don't be a wuss. Yeah, you're not expecting me to go all the other way, are you? Can we go over here, then? We can. Alright. We're gonna take a left here. Good. What the... We can't continue here. The or I think it would be better if we headed west again. No. You're going to come with me. We're going to go this way. Come on, really? We need to really go the other way. All right. You little wuss. We're going to go the other way then. What? We can't continue. I th I I am on the other side. Move it. All right then. Well, let's take a look at this local map here. West, he says. Oh, really? We have to go the other way by going through orcs. Well, wonderful. Well, it's your death, not mine. Anyway, about the comparison Gothic 1 Gothic 2. Gothic 1 really does a little bit less in the way of teaching you how to fight and doing things and just basically making the enemies that you meet early on, compared to Gothic 2 that is, uh, actually quite hard. Because you're in a new game, you don't realize what you're doing, you just keep on attacking and trying to hit on monsters and stuff like that, because normally that's what you do in every RPG, right? You try to kill enemies to gain experience to level up and st stuff like that. So that's pretty standard. However, the point is that uh, Gothic 1 handles this a little bit differently. You're like immediately overwhelmed by like two monsters that kill you almost instantly if you're not careful. Um, that's a difference compared to other games that were out, out in that time, like maybe the uh, Elder Scrolls of um, Morrowind. So, I personally feel that Gothic really handles itself as a more difficult game, which is nice. I mean, I never like too easy games, so... It's always a challenge, I suppose, if you can call it that. I don't like easy games. Casually, sometimes I do, but most of the time I do One not. Less monster around. Shoot it! What the? Don't attack me! Oh, don't, uh, uh you, yeah, you don't go up the tree, please, because otherwise we won't be able to uh, get you. Thank you. Now Diego is not going to regenerate health, so we need to be really careful that he doesn't get killed. Also, I'm going to give you a health potion here, so... Uh, you get here. that one. I think that should be alright. Well, that didn't really heal that much. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna give you an elixir. Here. That should heal you up pretty good. I get another one. Here. And the 50 potion should be alright. Here. Take the healing potion. And you should be full. Good. Now, if we can make sure that we get the Orc Shaman here without his brothers or not. Ooh. 
There's another of those scummy beasts. Well, it- Whoa! Okay, well that didn't go as planned. I was hoping that I stay behind the tree and not get killed, but I guess that's out of the question there. Alright, let's try to do this again. Oh well, I guess I have to move back here. Oh no! Kill me again, Diego yeah, need to kill them faster. <laughs> or I'm dying over here. Alright, how about we go over to this side, hmm? Because there's... Oh god. There's actually... This is a bad location. Because we can fall off pretty easily. How about good we go behind this tree, hmm? Jago! The tank! Oh my god. Blah. There we go. Ah, turn the other way! Oh, you fool! This game, it focuses on Diego, turns me to the right, and then just kills me. Ah, these orcs. I hate orcs. I just hate them. With passion. Oh. Shaman better not attack me. Whoa! Epic dodge, I would say. Kill the orcs! That fireball! <laughs> Diego, help me! Oh my god, this is gonna be so tough! Go! Attack it! Oh my god, this is so good. Behind the tree, you're not gonna hit me now. You're not gonna hit me now! Oh god, I hate orcs. But at least we killed them and Diego didn't take any damage, did he? I did take a little bit. All right. Nothing there. Good. This was very good. Now, let's talk to you to restore camera perspective back to what it should be. And hope, really praying, there should be no more orcs along the path. Oh my god, three more. Really? You're gonna make this... You're gonna make this really hard on me, game, aren't you? Alright then. Very well, game. We shall be healing up, draw our sword, save, and then take a look at these three orcs. Oh god. It's gonna be bad news, Bez. That's all three, of course, at the same time. Shoot it! Well, turn. Good. That's one down. Good. Move back. Jago! Would you mind helping me? He sifts potions! Thank you! Well, or you can shoot him in the face. One less monster. Ugh, God, orcs. Well, at least they're giving pretty decent experience. As you can see, 300 is quite a lot. So, obviously, the orcs all come from Sparta. Otherwise, this number would not make any sense at all. So, let's continue on this path. Oh wow! Reward! One potion and a few mushrooms. Great! Come on, pick it up. Alright, let's have a look at what else awaits us down here. Snappers! Yeah! I'll take that as a little bit of a change. Boom! Uh, okay, they're all going under him. One less monster around. Shouldn't have taken that much damage. 
Also, I wonder why he's drinking up now. Nothing there. Nothing to plunder. Instead of doing it Nothing before. Nothing to be had there. You know what? I don't really care. He's alive. And that is good. Because it is. So, is there anything else? Well, there's something here. Let's rather... All right, then. Yeah, I, I don't want to go into the tomb anyway. Because that tomb is from the first game. And... Yes, I know. Let's wrap. All right, then. We go this way. Fine. You've persuaded me. So, anything else on this path? A blood fly and some walks, okay. We can deal with that, surely. Let's try to kill that blood fly from here. Because why not? Alright, you know what? No, oh, come on! That was my kill! KS! KS indeed. Oh, shoot it. Thank One you. less monster around. Okay. Well, looks all good now. Oh, black goblins. Well, that's a good change for once. Cause they don't pose a threat at all. There's another of those scummy where, beasts. Where are you? Stop running around like gun. a mad chicken. One dirty beast less. All right. Nothing to be had there. Well, we can either swim over here. Nothing there. Or we can go down this path. Oh, I see a chest over there. Maybe we should go down this path first. Because chests are always something. Do you like to loot? Wow, really? A walking stick? Hmm. Okay. Oh no, there are orcs over there and walks. We're not gonna go down there. Too much stuff to kill. Not good enough right now. These blood flies, on the other hand. And look as. Should not be a big One deal. Less monster around. So, that should be our passage over to the other side. I just want to make sure that we give everything from this end of the river, or lake rather. So, we're just going to move on to this blood fly over there. And again. Oh, goblin berries and a stone tablet. Yes, please. We're not going to go over this area right there because that would be a very painful death. Trust me on that. Instead, we're going over to this area where snow is falling. Okay. Well, all right. Can we can we go to these bandits and not get killed? Because I don't know. Might be possible. Let's draw a sword just in case. You're in for it now. Yep, they're shooting me. Just gonna go behind this tree. And let Jaeger do so the rest. Much for you, well, that's life. one of them done. He's done as well. Now let's go into melee battle here. Oh, level up! Lovely! Why are you attacking me? I wasn't even there when you did anything, yeah. So <laughs> You don't even have any gold. No, he doesn't. I think I'll take your weapon for safety. But we can go into the cave now. So that's not a bad idea. First of because they have lots and lots of arrows. Which is never bad if we want to switch back to a bow at some point. And secondly, because first of this is a potion, a stone tablet, and a chest, as well as some crystals and quartz. Now let's see. What's in here? 
Random crappy loot. Alright. We don't want to do anything in here anyway. So we're just gonna go back outside. Now, we don't want to go over to this area, as I previously said. We don't want to risk getting attacked by anything there. And Jago will refuse to go there. Ooh. I almost didn't notice these wolves. Because these are winter wolves. Let's see. Wonderful. Continue shooting. Brilliant. Or ice wolves, rather, yes. Is he actually carrying a two-handed sword? Oh no! What? How could you die? He didn't even attack you. Well, that was dumb. And yes, he did have a two-handed sword. Uh, Alright, Jago. Suppose we have to do this again for you. Just for you. You're in for it now. Let's go behind that tree again. So we don't die. Ah! So much for you, low life. So much for you, low life. Okay, would you mind attacking the rest of them? Just as you did before. Lovely. You can shoot with the bow. I don't mind so about that. So much for you, low life. Shoot the others, please. So much for you, low life. I think you can put that sentence on repeat, honestly. So much for you, low life. Yep, there we go again. All right. Now, I think I have to look out for his health a little bit more so he doesn't get killed a second time around, which would be pretty stupid. And I don't want to do the sequence all over again. Because, you know, time issues. Let's go back in here. Oh, and since I forgot this leather satchel, or, no, that's actually a potion. Last time, I'll pick it up this time around. And of course I pressed the wrong combination on the first try and the lockpick broke. Ah, uh, lovely. Here. You can take this one. A small one. 50 HP. There should be at least one hit for you. So, let's go back to the winter ice wolves over here. And try to kill them this time around with better success. Alright. Now, I'm going to make these attack us once more. Uh, yes, you can shoot your bow already if you like. Uh oh. Oh, come on! Do these really do that much damage? I had hoped that he would kill one of them before he walks to us. Obviously, that did not happen, so. There we go. One down. Oh my god. Whoa! They actually do more damage to him than they do to me! Oh, really? Again? That's, this is insane! How can they do so much damage? Diego, you have to kill them! I realize he only wears a shadow armor, but still. These are just three wolves. Oh, well, that didn't work out as intended. Oh, come on, man. You have to kill these. I don't have any skills to fight them right now. I can't. Because I do jack all. Really, Diego, come on! I actually tanked one of them just for that reason. Right, let's do it again. Seems we need to train a little bit with Diego. That could be a new tutorial video for 
Call of Duty, training with Diego. Now even more realistic. Oh, come on. Seriously. Why do you attack my friend anyway? Just attack me. Let's do this again. This failed already because he didn't kill the wolf. Right. If this doesn't work the next two times, I'm gonna cut the video because this is gonna be embarrassing. Come on. All right. That was one try. Well, actually, one try coming up. And then... All right, you know what? Actually, we're going to try and... Uh, kill the wolf! I'm tanking! Yeah! Well... Come on! You can do this! All right, I have to do it myself, I guess. Oh my god, we finally killed the wolves. Hopefully I don't die through cold now. Like, a wind blow could kill me at this point. Basically. So, I'm gonna cut the episode off here. And then, next time, we're gonna take Diego back to the pass. Good god, I didn't think I have to go all the way around, but I think I have to. So, I will see you all next time.